Minus 15 seconds. Falcon eyes with flight pressure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Rocket down to supersonic. We are one minute and seven seconds into flight, and as you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off. Coming up next, you'll hear Max Q. The vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. And as you just heard, the vehicle is experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. That's the point at which the stresses on the Falcon 9 are highest that, than they are at any other point during the flight. Back engine chill. Everything is looking nominal right now. Now coming up, we're gonna have three events happening in rapid succession. The first is MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff. That is where all nine of the Falcon 9 first stage engines will shut down. That'll be followed by stage separation. That's where stage one will separate from stage two. And then we'll have SCS-1, or second engine start one. That is where that MVAC engine, that, vac, that Merlin vacuum engine on stage two is going to ignite and carry stage two onto orbit. We hear that MVAC chill is looking good. That's where we bleed a little bit of that super cold liquid oxygen into the engine. Sun shut down. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And as you can hear by the applause and see on your screen, we've had a successful stage separation and ignition of that second stage MVAC engine. Now coming up in about 25 seconds, we're gonna have fairing deploy. So those fairing halves are gonna split away from stage two and make their way down to Earth. And stage two will continue on with the mirrored Petit satellite onto its parking orbit. Minus 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go PSP. Minus 15. Profi ignition. 10, 9, nine start. 8, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. Seconds into flight. Chamber pressures continue to look good on all three boosters. Now 35 seconds in. Chamber pressure on the core booster is uh, throttling down to the partial thrust mode. Response looks good. Now 
now 50 seconds into flight. Strap-on boosters look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the uh, partial thrust mode. Now one minute into flight. Vehicle trajectory looking good right down the middle of the range track. One minute, ten seconds into flight. Coming up on one minute, nineteen seconds into flight, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure, and Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. One minute, thirty seconds into flight. Port and starboard booster engines continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Port booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. One minute, 45 seconds into flight. Trajectory continuing to look good right down the middle of the range track. ACS press valve has been opened. ACS pressure response looks good. Two minutes, 10 seconds in. Strap-on boosters continue to look good in the full thrust mode. Core booster looks good in the partial thrust mode. And Delta-4 has gone to closed loop guidance. To all of you watching on the internet, also we all hope you're enjoying the evening. We're going to cut away and let you enjoy the liftoff. You will hear the DDO call out the final 10 seconds and we'll be underway. Enjoy the liftoff, everyone. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage P80 et décollage VV12 Aeolus. La propulsion est nominale. La trajectoire est nominale, la propulsion du P80 est nominale. The DD, DDO says all is fine on board. You saw Vega take off like a shot. I'm always amazed. It took her about three seconds to cross uh, my computer screen here. Three seconds, rising like an arrow. Surprisingly fast if you're used to watching the Ariane 5 lift off. Ariane 5, of course, raises raises into the air much more slowly, weighs uh, six times what Vega does, carrying four times as much propellant. Fine shots of her rising into the light clouds. All is well on board, says the DDO. Vega weighing 138 tons at liftoff as she lifts off from French Guiana, beginning the 12th mission in her career. They call her the light launcher at 138 tons, but I guess that's relative. The first stage is burning now. She weighs 97 tons. 88 tons of that are fuel. Most of any launcher's weight is propellant in any system that we're using today. The first stage burns its single engine for about two minutes before being jettisoned. Maybe we'll be able to see that as our camera is tracking Vega, because visibility is pretty good. First stage is produced in Colifero near Rome then delivered to the French Guiana plant here, where it's loaded with fuel and transferred to the booster integration building. You probably saw some of that de la on the video on the launcher campaign. And having returned with Separation a big smile P80. on his face, before separation is Martin Casper. So, oh, how is it? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Tell us. <laughs> you, you see it, you feel it, and all the emotion that comes loose. I, ah, it's great. <laughs> Start the beat, start the beat, start the beat, start the beat.